I could freestyle about it, preach about it, or go off top of the head. But today I bought my notes so I could resurrect the dead. Yeah. Greetings and blessings to my navigators of the seven seas. I am your locksmith, your symbologist, and metaphysical tour guide, Flat Archie 5000. And I'm back with another one as we navigate through the land of Pineal. Today we're going to unlock your Solomon's Temple. To decode the goddess of transformation and destruction, known respectfully as Kali. So as always, strap on your helmet and buckle up your spacesuit, because we're on a mental voyage, and we're about to take off before the walls of Jericho come crumbling down. In the tradition of entering Solomon's Temple, we must use a meditative master key to help us stay on the path of enlightenment. It is these divine words that have a literal, allegorical, and metaphysical message attached to them when understood in its proper context. So today we give honors and respect to a man by the name of Captain Thomas Sankara of Burkina Faso, land of the upright man, who once made a, this revolutionary statement. We must choose either champagne for a few or safe drinking water for all. That was so powerful, I have to repeat it again. These words hit different when you understand who and what Ca Captain Thomas Sankara was up against when he made the statement at a time when poverty, corruption, and evil and wicked foreign interest groups were inflicting chaos upon his people and land. He said, we must choose either champagne for a few or safe drinking water for all. Go on and meditate on that and click your heels three times while I ring this bell of enlightenment for that powerful meditative key of wisdom as you enter the corridors of your Solomon's Temple. <laughs> to my navigators of the seven seas, let's start off by saying that the goddess Kali is a significant figure in Hindu mythology and holds different meanings and interpretations within various esoteric traditions. She represents transformation and destruction. It is she who represents the eternal cycle of creation, preservation, and dissolution. In this context, her destructive aspects are seen as, a ne as necessary for the process of transformation and rebirth. Kali, is also sometimes associated with the concept of time. She is often depicted wearing a necklace of several severed heads, which represents the heads of the ego and a limited sense of self. In this interpretation, Kali represents the dissolution of the ego and realization of the eternal present moment. Kali is also seen as a fierce and uncompromising force that helps breaking attachments and, liber and liberating individuals from worldly illusions. She is believed to assist in spiritual awakening and the realization of one's true nature beyond the limitations of the physical world. Kali also embodies the divine feminine mother power of Shakti, representing the primordial cosmic energy that manifests and sustains the universe. She is often portrayed as a fierce and independent goddess, challenging the social norms and empowering women. Kali is known for her fearsome appearance with a dark complexion, a garland of skulls, and a protruding tongue. In esoteric interpretations, her terrifying form is believed to help individuals confront and overcome their deepest fears and limitations. We love you, Kali. And lastly, in some esoteric traditions, Kali is associated with Kundalini energy, which is considered to be the dormant spiritual energy residing within every individual. Kali's fierce energy is seen as a catalyst for awakening and raising the Kundalini energy, leading to spiritual transformation. Thus, Kali is a Hindu goddess who is widely revered in Hinduism and is particularly associated with the fierce aspects of the divine feminine. She is often depicted as a terrifying and ferocious deity with multiple arms, a blood red tongue, and a necklace of skulls while standing on her cohort known as Shiva. Her name Kali is derived from the Sanskrit word Kala, which means time or death. According to Hindu mythology, 
Kali emerged during a battle between the gods and the demons. The demons had become so powerful that the gods were unable to defeat them. In response, the gods combined their energies. And from this collective power, Kali was born. She became an embodiment of their rage, strength, and determination. Kali is known as the destroyer of evil forces and the annihilator of ignorance. She is often depicted standing or dancing on the body of her cult consort, Lord Shiva, who represents the masculine aspects of the divine. This symbolizes her triumph over ego and her ability to conquer even the most powerful forces. Kali is also associated with time and change. She is often portrayed as a dark skinned as she also she's often portrayed as dark skin, representing the eternal darkness that existed before creation. In some interpretations, she is seen as the ultimate reality beyond time and form. Kali is often approached with reverence and humility by her devotees, as well as with the understanding that her fierce and terrifying form represents a transformational and empowering force. Question. Why is this important and why should you even care to know anything about the goddess Kali? And lastly, how can this information help you in life today? Answer to my carpenters of Solomon's Temple. You must understand that Kali is a powerful symbol and archetype representing various aspects of life and consciousness. And by exploring her symbolism, you can deepen your understanding of universal consciousness and concepts such as time, death, transformation, and a divine feminine. This knowledge can expand your perspective and enrich your spiritual and philosophical understanding. It is this science of empowerment and transformation, for it is the mother goddess Kali that embodies fierce strength, courage, and the ability to overcome obstacles. Thus, learning about Kali can inspire you to tap into your own inner strength, confronting your challenges with courage and embrace personal transformation. And we must not be stuck in ignorance by acknowledging that Kali's image as a fierce and terrifying goddess can serve as a reminder to confront and embrace the darker aspects of life and oneself. By acknowledging and working with our own shadows, we promote personal growth, self-awareness, and spiritual development. Last but not least, Kali is often associated with the destruction of ignorance and illusion. Learning about her can inspire you to seek knowledge, question assumptions, and strive for a deeper understanding of reality. This knowledge can help dispel ignorance, broaden your perspective, and facilitate personal growth and enlightenment. So as always, in Solomon's Temple, I leave you in peace with these powerful words. Nothing binds you except your thoughts. Nothing limits you except your fears. Nothing controls you except your beliefs. Let the God say that one more time. I'm even ring the bell for that. Yeah. It states, nothing binds you except your thoughts. Nothing limits you except your fears. And nothing controls you except your beliefs. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe.